Welcome. Today we're delving into the fascinating world of numbering systems. At its most basic, everything inside a computer is a number. The particular system used by computers is called binary, which uses just two digits, zeros and ones. That's why it's also called a base-2 system. For humans, we primarily use the decimal system, or base-10, which uses 10 symbols ranging from 0 to 9. It's important to note that our preference for base-10 didn't come out of nowhere. Historically, different civilizations used different bases. The Babylonians, for instance, used base-60, a system that lives on today in how we measure time and angles. Humans likely settled on base-10 due to a very simple reason. We have 10 fingers. Let's delve deeper into the concept of positional value or notation, which is essential for understanding how any numbering system, including decimal, works. Consider the number 646. In our decimal system, we can break this down into 600 plus 40 plus 6. The leftmost digit 6 isn't just a 6. It represents 600. This can be calculated by multiplying 6 by 10 raised to the power of 2. Why 10? We're in base 10 after all. Similarly, the middle digit 4 isn't just a 4. It represents 40, which can be calculated as 4 times 10 to the power of 1. Finally, the rightmost 6 is just 6 or 6 times 10 to the power of 0. Remember, any number raised to the power of 0 is 1. In this part of our mini-lesson, we're broadening our understanding of positional notation beyond the decimal system to other bases. Like the decimal system, the same method of positional notation can be used to represent numbers in other base systems. Consider the following three-digit number in base R. In this context, each digit, A, B, and C, takes on a new meaning based on its position. A is the value of A times the base. R raised to the power of 2. B stands for B times the base. R raised to the power of 1. And C signifies C times the base R raised to the power of 0. We're using R here to denote the base or radix of the numbering system. By learning how positional notation operates across various bases, you're equipping yourself with an essential skill that finds application in several areas, notably in computing and mathematics. Don't worry if this seems a bit abstract right now. We'll explore some examples next to make these concepts more tangible. Stay tuned and remember numbers are your friends.